back and neck can hold a lot of tension. This is the area that can cause that can hold a lot of tension from our daily stress for keeping the shoulders up, our daily activities, being behind the computer, keeping the shoulders up, driving, tensing up in a stressful situation, just emotional stress, bad breathing habits, things like that, and all of these things will usually set up trigger points in our upper back area. These trigger points can cause pain in the neck and headaches. So today we will learn to release some of the trigger points in our trapezius or traps. To start, we're going to use our smooth sphere ball, but we can also use our uh, spiky sphere ball for some of the other releases. We're going to start working on the stop trapezius trigger point. Go ahead and place the ball behind the fold of the, uh, of the trapezius. You're going to be in this angle of the neck over here. So find the position. You're not going to be applied a whole lot of pressure, just like so. Just feel the muscle. Now take the thumb and this thumb will actually be applying pressure over here. You can hold on to the shoulder blade and press into the ball. This trigger point usually sends this um, temple headaches that go uh, really deep, or maybe sometimes very sharp temple headaches. So when you find this spot, you might feel that kind of a little bit of a headache sensation coming up right in this area. And this is how you know that you're in the right spot. You can feel like um, a thread, like a rubber cord underneath your finger underneath your thumb if this uh, area is particularly tight. So go ahead and press into it and you're going to apply massage and stroking motions with your thumb. Now once you feel that this spot has released, go ahead and take the ball out and we can start moving and exploring other areas of our trap. So go ahead and lower it a little bit down to where we're going, kind of right above the shoulder blade. And you can start rolling in this area. It can be a little tricky to apply a lot of pressure here. So do your best. Explore your body positioning. Roll. And those spots are better access on the floor, but if you're in the office or don't have a lot of floor space at the time, you just want a quick release, you can still massage yourself traps against the wall. Now we're going to go between the shoulder, the blade, and the back. And really a lot of spots where you will be massaging not just your traps, but also your rhomboids in this position. Start going up and down, rolling along parallel with the spine, but not pressing into the spine directly. Again, you can pause in any spot. They need special attention. Then move down. You're going to the lower part of the shoulder blade. And in this spot, you can go a little bit across the edge, the bottom part of the, your shoulder blade triangle. Some of the trigger points can be hiding in that spot. You can feel a knot again in the kind of the bulge, muscle bulge over there. So go ahead and roll over it or just press into it and hold and just kind of keep exploring the area. And go up and down. Then up and down. You can roll along the spine, lower the ball a little bit more, almost like to the edge, a little bit below the edge of the shoulder blade to access the bottom portion of the trapezius. See if you can find any spots over there. And release, and you can now repeat the same release on the other side. 